This is nice. This is nice too. This is also nice. It's truth. Hi there, Michelle here, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing some things that I got from Furls. I am so excited to do this video. For anyone who doesn't know, Furls is a fiber arts, you know, crochet company. They have the most beautiful crochet hooks that I have ever seen. When they said that they wanted to send me a gift, I'm like, yes, please, because your things are just you know, they're just, they're just beautiful. I'm just like so excited. I've never actually bought one of their hooks because when it comes to crocheting, I tend to just keep sticking to the same aluminum hooks that I get from Michaels because they just work better with my hands. I did end up buying like a really chunky kind of uh, crochet hook, but it just doesn't work with my crochet style. So I've always just been a little hesitant of buying bigger crochet hooks, not the hook size, but like the handle size. Cause I'm like, how is it going to work? I don't want to like buy something that I'm never gonna use, but their hooks, I think I'm gonna like them. I also have scissors, it always bothers me in unboxing videos. When someone's like, oh, I don't have a pair of scissors, I better go get them. You know you're doing an unboxing video. Be prepared. Don't worry, these are not sewing scissors. These are my crafting scissors. My sewing scissors are very special. I only use them to cut fabric. Okay. I rarely do unboxing videos because I never get anything to unbox. So I'm like just really, really excited about this. Ooh! Just looking in the box, it looks like they've given me three hooks and some yarn. So we'll go through the yarn after I go through the hooks, because the hooks are the most important part of this video, because they're so cute. Look how pretty these boxes are. I am a sucker for good packaging. I'm so excited to open this. Oh my goodness. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my. They are so. I feel like I'm gonna cry right now. I don't really get a lot of these opportunities that people wanna send me things and then when I get something sent, that's, that's this beautiful. Ooh. I have to put a close up because my camera is not picking up how gorgeous this is. So this one looks like it is the Jupiter Streamline Galaxy Crochet Hook. It is in a six millimeter or a J hook. It's like looking into the galaxy. It's so beautiful and there's like sparkly shimmers in it and oh my goodness. I like this handle. This handle is nice. When I crochet, I like to put my finger on the yarn, if that makes sense. And when I had like a thicker base of a crochet hook, I couldn't really do that. And so I just like kind of holding my hook like this. And I'm one of those crocheters that actually does a lot more motions with my left hand than my right hand. Cause I see a lot of people where they're just like, they're holding their yarn, but they're doing all the motions with their right hand. I'm the opposite where I just stick my crochet hook in and then I do everything with my left hand. So I feel like this hook is gonna be very nice to crochet with. I wanna put it back in its little box because I don't, I don't want to ruin it. This one's so beautiful. The next one, it doesn't really tell you what it is on here. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my, oh my goodness. They are all so beautiful that I think I'm gonna have to start investing my own money into these because they're beautiful. They're so beautiful. This one here is a five millimeter H hook. This is the Capricorn Streamlight Zodiac Crochet Hook. I'm not over exaggerating of how beautiful this is. I love a good swirl. I love sparkles. I know I might dress like an old man and seem like an old man most of the time, but I love glitter. I love glitter. And the color is like this turquoisey color that I absolutely love. I am over the moon for this crochet hook. The last crochet hook, and then we'll get into the other goodies in the box. Okay. <gasps> Oh my, this one's made out of wood. This one's beautiful. This is a seven millimeter L hook. This one is called the Laurel Streamline Wood Crochet Hook. It's so beautiful. These hooks are so nice. And like this wood one, I mean, it goes with my theme. <laughs> This is like a perfect match for my whole aesthetic. These are the three hooks together. I have to say that the hook that I know I'm gonna use the most is probably this one because it is a five millimeter. I use five millimeter for everything. Even when it tells you not to, I still do. But I think my favorite pattern or favorite hook is definitely this one here, the Jupiter one. I just love 
it honestly looks like you're looking into a galaxy. Like, it's so beautiful. And then, of course, I love the wood one. The only thing, the only thing about these hooks that I'm going to have to get over is the way that the hook is. The hook is a very cut on an angle, and that's more of that, like, you know, Susan Bates, the Bates kind of hook, where I use the rounder one, which I think is a boil or a boy hook. I can never say that right. And they have more have, like, a rounded edge on them. So I think that's the only thing that I'm going to have to, like, overcome. But I feel like these hooks the way that they're made, the way that they're designed. They're not going to give me the trouble that I've had with the Bates hooks. I will do a demonstration once I've unpacked everything. Just the handle itself is so nice and everyone's always saying to use the ergonomical crochet hooks and I just, I never did because I don't think they're very pretty, especially the ones with the grip on them. I'm just not a fan. I don't know. I like to use pretty crochet hooks, but these ergonomical and pretty, that's a win-win cute little bag with like two armadillos on it. I know exactly what I'm going to put in here. I am probably going to be putting all my little doodads for crocheting such as not scissors. Scissors won't fit in here. My clamps that I use to when I have to make like cardigans and you know like attach things together. All of my little stitch markers. I love the little handle. Oh this is just so cute. And they also sent me some yarn. So let's go through the yarn. This yarn is called Wander. It's acrylic yarn and it says here wander is furl's first acrylic yarn airy soft satin and in a wide variety of colors wander is for fiber artists who love a touch of luxe and easy versatility this yarn it's acrylic but it is so soft it's so soft and like there's a lot that come in how much do you get in here you get 120 yarns that's pretty good a four medium weight and it is a worsted weight yarn. And it says you can use a five millimeter crochet hook. So I'm really glad that they sent me the five millimeter crochet hook so I get to work with this. But tell me what color it is. Oh, so this color is called Sprout. And y'all know that this green is becoming like my new favorite color. If you see my last thrift haul, then you'll know how much green things I had thrifted. Then there's this bright orange and this one is called Marmalade. I love yarn brands that have the cutest names. When it's just called orange, I'm like, okay, you didn't really think out of the box. But this one's called Marmalade. I know. I think I'm saying adorable way too many times, but I don't know how else to describe how adorable this is. And then we have this one here, which is a very like gray blue, and it's called Foundry. 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 This one is really, really pretty. And you know, I'm not the biggest fan of blue, but this one this one I could definitely do something with. And then there's this vibrant purple called Enchanted. Again, really good yarn name. This color is so beautiful and I love I love the feel of it. This acrylic yarn doesn't feel like acrylic yarn. It is so nice and it is so soft. Usually the acrylic yarn that I use, you know, can get a little scratchy, but this yarn, this yarn just feels so nice. And the last yarn is this one here. And this one is called Dailing, D-A-H. L-I-N-G. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. I'm really bad at pronouncing. Again, super soft. I love this color. It's kind of, I think it's like a magenta color. That would look so good. I love a good pink and orange color together. These two colors are probably my favorite because again, it's like one thing for them to send me the hooks, but to send me some of their yarn is just amazing. I'm going to just quickly see how I can crochet with this. Okay. I don't know if it's the yarn or the hook or both together, but I really love how this yarn is crocheting and how this hook is working. It glides. And like I said earlier, how I was kind of afraid that the angle of the hook would, you know, drive me a little bit nuts. It does it. And I think it's because the hook itself is a lot longer. Whereas the other hooks that I've used before, if it was a Bates, the end part here was a lot shorter. So I kept catching onto the yarn, but this one is just crocheting so nicely. You know, I can't do an unboxing without testing the product. So y'all know what I'm talking about. And my hand is very comfortable on it. Doesn't feel like I'm holding anything heavier because the last um, hook I use, again, it's just the very like small aluminum ones. You don't get much grip on them. So I was just kind of holding them more like kind of like lightly like a pencil. Whereas this one, it's like you kind of have a little bit more of a grip on it, which is nice. I'm just saying, this is nice. This is nice too. This is also nice. It's true. I really like this hook. Also, I love how it's like sparkling. It's so pretty. Here we have a little swatch 
Look at how beautiful that shimmers. This yarn is so beautiful. This hook is really nice to crochet with that I will now invest my money in these ones instead of just buying, you know, the generic ones you get at uh, craft stores. Since I tried crocheting with their yarn that they sent me, I'm gonna just try with the yarn that I normally use. Just crocheting with the regular yarn that I use for my projects, it crochets so nicely. Yeah, I think that these crochet hooks are so cute that I think, I think I'm hooked. They just have so many cute hooks and I know the crochet hook doesn't make the crocheter and it doesn't make the crochet thing any cuter. But like crocheting with something cute is just nice. Just crocheting with something fancy, like something like this makes a little different, you know, it makes crocheting a little bit more fun. And that's what I love about these. I want to thank Furls again for sending me these amazing products, those hooks. I am so excited to start using them on my crochet projects. I'm really excited to start like working with that yarn. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I have some ideas in my head, but I'm really excited to use that yarn. And then of course the cute little armadillo bag. It's adorable. If you yourself want to check out Furl's hooks and their products, I have a link in the description below. I think that does it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, crafting, thrifting, and of course you made like crocheting, why not hit that subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that's it. So y'all have a good day now.